Split. Come on. No. Yes. Oh, man. Boss in the morning. So after she put it on him and then left the living room yesterday, I look over because I hear Coco barking. And I look at him like thinking, what is he barking at? So I look at him, he's staring, he's sitting in my recliner staring at the back of my recliner. Like he's trying to attack the chair. Good and man. then he's like, right and he just starts going trying nuts to trying to get his sweater get off. off his back. <laughs> but he didn't do it in front of mom. He hates it. And then I started telling him, like, get it, go, go, get it. And then he just stopped and just stare at me. Now you're going to get in your trouble. Hey, come on, man. Just take it off. You know what I'm just doing. Please, please. You know what I'm doing, please. man. Come on, just take it off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> get him. Oh, man. You're dirty. It's Friday! It is Friday. 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 Friday, 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 love. I know, we're getting over Friday. with. Friday. Nah. It's all about taking the day off. My wife won't let me. You do what you want. No, it's okay. What do we got going on this weekend? Oh, probably sp supposed to have little Nora on Saturday. Yeah, we'll have Nora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This weekend. I've been trying to think of things that we could. Maybe. She yeah. apparently was throwing up at school yesterday, so. I think. It's just her, her allergies, and I think her mom thought so too. Just too much drainage. But yeah. Anyway, allergies are rocking, dude. Bad, rocking like they're bad. really bad like, around here. All year this year, like not just in one specific time frame. Like I think you whole... suffered more from it than what I did, but I know that when I was sick most recently, whoo, I was sick for two weeks yeah. trying to get, I guess, acclimated. I don't know. So we put out our video yesterday and actually doing pretty good it's got like a, almost That's 200 it. views on it whoop, whoop. in 12 hours so y'all got to see the car sammy's mom roll the lexia a sexy lexi oh god <laughs> lord help us all you're welcome no i can't remember who was it was on here who made the comment on our last round with the goats i think it was lady beginning was it Lady Beginning? Hi, Lady Beginning. I'm pretty sure she said uh, she was talking about how it's so nice to hear a young couple talking about church and God and faith. No, I'm going now. We love some Jesus. Yes, look. That is the absolutely most important thing anybody could be having a conversation about today yep. in this world. Yep. Because, by goodness, we need to be saving some souls because... Things are crazy. Things are so crazy in this crazy world, dude. That I promise you that that conversation is most definitely the most important conversation to have today. Uh, so I've been like super conflicted, convicted this past few days, man. Because like y'all know our stories and all that, but I'm still not perfect as none of us are no and but i still beat myself up because i don't in my opinion that's a a good thing that you feel the conviction there's people that are walking around that don't feel convicted on any on any level and they just keep running them up well i was watching so this guy on youtube yesterday and that's all his channel's about like he literally just goes out in the street and evangelizes and 
man, I would love to be at that point. You know? Like, gosh, that would be so cool. You never know. But man, it just... God's got a plan, regardless. It may not be that plan. I just wish that my walk was stronger. I'm already ready to slam down on him today. Asking forgiveness ahead of time. I ask forgiveness ahead sometimes. So, Glenpool is having their, uh, what is it, gold, um... Black gold? Yeah. Black gold fair? We ain't going to the actual Tulsa County Fair. The most recent fair, I don't we know. We might go to the Tulsa State Fair or no, whenever, like, like towards the last couple days of it. Like, not right in the middle of the mix because, yeah, we are. No, well, I'm I not. Will. Bye, Felicia. But, uh... I am not going out in that crowd because that's probably going to be the most packed. Just no, it won't. no, it won't. No, it won't. catch the very end of the day, end of the night, on the last night. On a Sunday night. Yeah, I'm not as interested in the fair as I used to be. No. I used to be very excited about the Tulsa State Fair. People are crazy. There was a 15-year-old. I don't know if it was Kellyville or if it was Tulsa County. I don't. I can't remember. I want to say it was Kellyville. There was a 15-year-old that got bumped into here and started shooting. Where? I, that's what I just said. Whether I don't know if it was in Kellyville or if it was Tulsa County Fair. A 15-year-old got bumped into, it ticked him off, and he started shooting. See, that's why we're not going At the very that. least, that's what. <laughs> but seriously, though, that's why I don't have no interest in no. going to things like that today. No. Because the world is crazy. Kids are just out of their minds these days. They're They've not got... being parented. I will stay in my house and talk to Jesus. Yep. Through prayer. Yeah. <laughs> I'll watch videos of the fair. We have a video though. Uh, we gotta find it. Everybody would thoroughly enjoy that. When we did the oh, slingshot, yeah, we, we did gotta the find slingshot. that. So it was literally the first year that we got so Yeah, we got clean. It was twenty sixteen. Remember we got clean in started in April. And then by Mine was August, uh, September. By September of 2016, I had already had Sam down here. I had already been through all my treatment courses, and we were on the beginning of our walk. Yep. And uh, yeah, we went to the whole state fair that year, and we've actually got. We need to go at least one day because we take pictures in the little old school photo booth every single year. We've got pictures of each Get year from out. that year beginning in 2016. I think we missed, like, I know one year they didn't have the photo booth out for whatever reason, but we keep them on our fridge. Aww. Which one? This was the first year, right? Um, no, I was in a pink shirt that year. Uh, this one? I don't remember, sweetheart. Anyway. From the looks of it, it looks like this is... That's probably one of the older ones. I don't know that we took... Because there's the only four there. The first year, 2016. So we missed... I, I did not even think we went last year. It should be 2017. If y'all can see it. I think it like the, the light. But anyway. Well, um, I guess we did miss a couple years. We did. And there's the next year. I know year. one year they, they didn't have the photo booth out. And this is the last year we did it. And I think that was last year. But if you notice, the pictures got suckier and suckier over time. <laughs> like, look, see how good those ones turned out? And look at that. And it's still charging. What's going on with the Tulsa Fair? Probably. <laughs> Trying to save money. That's what happens. So people still pay for it, so guess what? That's why we like going to the fair. Yeah, so we really need to go, go again because we need really to hit the photo booth. Just. For yeah. memory's sake. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I'm sure Miracle will be going to the fair. That concerns <laughs> She needs to be going and getting her butt up out of bed is what she needs to do. Yeah. So yesterday, I wake up, sis, at like, like we normal, I always do. So right before we do ground with the goat, they go in there, bumper and tell her it's time to get up. We gotta go, we gotta get up. 
Sam went in there at some point, done the same thing. I went back in there, done the same thing. Went back in there another time, did the same thing. So that was three times on my part, one time on Sam's part. And then I get to work, and about nine o'clock yesterday morning, I get a phone call from Mary Quick said, Dad, it's silver slap. It was 10 o'clock. I said, Child, you are going to hate me in the morning from now on. Period. And I have. I made it a crappy morning for her. Well, what could be even more crappy is us just taking her to school and getting yeah, her Yeah, not there really a crappy morning, but forcing her to get up. To get up. And then guess just what? just like her dad. She's still, still not, not up. up. Imagine that. Because she got peed off and started telling me, Dad, it's 6.30, I gotta be at school in two hours. This is stupid. I told you you was gonna hate me, dude. Or get up before we leave. Yeah, she is. She will be up out of that bed before I walk out that door. No in more. About T minus 15 minutes. We understand all this. She's a t What'd you say? I'm literally up. She's Actually. literally up. Actually. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Why, bro? Well, good. So she's up. So she's, that's good. We don't have to worry about that today. We don't have to go back in there and make her get up. She's up. She's Where you getting go. ready. Yeah. What I'm saying. Good job. So what else we got going on in? Uh, work. Oh, Nick commented yesterday. He finally said, I did it. Did I you took do a it? cold I shower. It. Sorry, Nick. Yeah, he actually added on to his comment because I was like oh, an entire day late uh, replying to everybody's comments on our last late ground with the goat. Short. So our last ground with the goat was the day before yesterday and I didn't comment on the comments till yesterday. Well, he put a long comment on there and then he added to it and that's what he said. He said, I did it. I took an ice bath, or not an ice bath, ice shower. Homestead meets, okay, okay, that's where you got it. cold shower, done! So, so Nick, what did you think after you got out? Please tell us. Yeah, yeah, let well, us know. What did you think? Did it work for you? I know it did, I, I know it did. I feel so much better. I know it did. Even in the winter time, I'll take a cold shower. Nine I times didn't do my cold like shower this around. morning. Well, you I didn't take a shower He also confirmed that it was Peter in Acts 10, 9 through 16. Thank you. Where God told him to go kill and eat. He also said he would tell us ahead of time when he's going to be preaching because he don't preach all the time. He will let us know ahead of time so that we can come up there and listen yes, to him preach. Yes, please do. Please do. And that he is also planning on, whenever we go see him, taking us to the most bad-to-the-bone barbecue that's right next door to his church. All right. The win. Butcher Barbecue Stand. The Butcher BBQ Stand. Yeah. So yes. Nick, let us know for sure. Give us a little bit of heads up yes, if you know you're going to be preaching. Because I'm pretty sure you know the way it goes is you will know a week prior before you start to preach. Most typically, so depending on the situation. So you get ready for preaching. So if that is the case, let us know and we will absolutely fight our tails off to be there to watch you preach. I'm going to send you an email with Dave's phone number. Most definitely, we will most definitely come and watch you preach before we move to Kentucky. I want to. That really is a bad promise name. set in stone. Yep. Because I definitely want to do that. That is just so cool. So cool. It really is. So cool, man. Right. It really is. Like, they, they, honest, honest to God, it was just not shocking and like oh my god nick's a preacher no no that kind of shock but just oh my gosh yeah nick's wow cool man nick can preach like you never said that before you may very well have but one ear and out the other no 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 that's definitely something i would remember you never said that i'm pretty sure it was nick at Steve the preacher. meetup i don't want to fib to you just because I didn't know anybody there at the time. Yeah, man, it was such a... I didn't know anybody, so trying to remember faces is really difficult for me. Yeah. So, it was fun, but next, and everybody was the next rocking awesome, but 
you know, the next year's big meet America or uh, Mid American meetup, it's gonna be way cooler. In Hopefully, my we're opinion. here for that. For us, anyway. Now, we just because now we are, we're known. Definitely know. in our community, you know what I mean, of people. So, like last year, when we went in there and got there, or this year, it was this year, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, yeah. So, whenever we came this year, it was like, I think we had like, maybe a hundred subs. I don't even think we had a hundred subs. So, we literally were just completely unknown peeps. This year... I know for at the very least every other creator in our the group knows who we are. Whether they like us or not, I don't know. Like, we love you anyway, though. Yeah, we do. Alright, babe. It's time, it's time to go, honey. No, it's not. When? Right. <laughs> That's what Bennett says. Annoying. You're so annoying. <laughs> You're so annoying. Alright, guys. Love you guys. Thank you for hanging out. We didn't have a whole lot really to say. Just a bunch of gibberish. We never do. Mumbo jumbo. Alright. Till next time. Love you guys. Catch you on the next one. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mundane.